Hey, Chris here. So yesterday I talked a little bit about who I am and where I came from. And today I want to talk a little more about one point in particular. As I said, I was raised in a middle-class American household and taught incessantly that there was one and only one way to success, going to college. Go to college, they said, so you can get a good job and won't end up being a garbage man. Fast forward to 20, 2010, I finished college alongside 10 billion or so it seemed of my old older millennial peers sit through hours of cliched speeches about education is the best investment from faculty members and finally receive a document signifying that I am special and I deserve the good jobs along with everyone else my age. I should be extremely proud of myself because I unquestion unquestioningly did what I was told unlike those screw-ups who didn't go to college and were thusly condemned to be garbage men. To make a long story short, I spent a full year after college without being able to find one of those mythical good jobs that I had been told were my right for having made the best investment in going to college. I managed to find a few part-time and temporary jobs along the way. Somehow, exactly the same sort of jobs I had been working before I had the magical college diploma. It dawned on me years later that I would actually have made considerably more money if I was a garbage man. That was a bad year. I was depressed, feeling like a failure, and living with my dad, who had just been remarried, and was clearly none too happy about still having to support his deadbeat adult son. Meanwhile, I was working a miserable part-time job as a waiter's assistant in a restaurant. Yes, not even a real waiter, a waiter's assistant. Taking orders from people who had no college degrees. Anyway, I eventually found a place in the world and started actually having some control over my career, and I credit that to my education. Not to my college education, mind you, but to the education I found for myself on the internet. College didn't teach me useful skills, but the internet did. This experience taught me some valuable lessons that in hindsight seem obvious. One is that you should be skeptical of anyone who tries to sell you something that will make you special while everyone else is buying exactly the same thing. If everyone is special, then no one is. And beware of anyone who tries to convince you to feel superior in order to sell you something. In my parents' generation, only about a third of kids went to college, and these tended to be the smartest third of kids. Naturally, they did better than the rest. In my generation, however, two-thirds went to college, and thanks to our generation's much-hyped everyone-gets-a-trophy upbringing, receiving a college degree meant little more than proof that you showed up to a classroom for four years. We were a whole generation of young adults with no jobs, no skills, a lot of debt, and still somehow holding on to the belief that we were special and superior for having wasted away four years of our lives learning nothing of value. I've probably ranted enough, so here's a more practical lesson. Just because something worked well in the past does not mean that it works now. Times change and we need to adapt. If you want to be special, you have to stay ahead of the curve. If everyone else is doing it, it's already played out. This isn't just true of education, it's true everywhere. Early adopters of Bitcoin, for example, made a ton of money. Investing in Bitcoin worked, you might say. The more that people heard stories of new Bitcoin fortunes, the more people bought. Then the people who bought at the height of the frenzy lost their shirts. They did the same thing as a bunch of other people who got fabulously rich, but they were late. Timing matters a lot. If you want to be successful, you need to find what works now. Part of the problem with formal education in general is that it takes a long time for a new concept to make it into a college curriculum, and by the time it does, it's often too late to be useful. It's been my experience that you can spend a fraction of the money you would have to spend on college on online courses from people who are actually doing what they're teaching and give yourself a much more useful education. I had to learn this the hard way, but my life is much better because I did eventually learn. Now that I know, I want to tell everyone I can. College is obsolete. In the immortal words of someone pretending to be Mark Twain, because it's not a real quote, but I like it anyway, never let schooling get in the way of your education. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If you want to send me death threats or hate mail, feel free to put it in the comments.